Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I will show you the SumX function example or SumX function tutorial so that you can get to know in which scenarios you can utilize it as well as how to utilize it. Okay, so for this scenario what I have is a very simple table where I have the product subcategory, I have the sales and I have the average discount that is being applied to these uh, particular sales for these given product subcategory. Now if you see mostly the discount that is being applied is 5% or 0.05, right? But in normal or in a uh, real-time scenario in our, or in a real-time data set, you will have different level of discount. So basically the idea is that uh, whenever we have to create any sort of expression and then apply an aggregation over that, we use the sum x function. So what we need to do it over here we need to identify the sales value which was prior to applying the discount. If this is a scenario or similar sort of scenario where you need to apply an expression and then sum it up, you will going to use the sum x. Why? Because let me show you one thing. Let's say if we, if we did not have the sum x function, if we have only sum x function and the way we should do this is, let's say, I'll just open the calculator and over here if you see this value which is 736991.54 so we'll just ignore the point value but to get the sales value prior to the discount we will simply say multiply with 1.05 right because 5% is a discount that is being applied 1.05 if you multiply it in the existing value will give us the overall value. So if we click it over here, you see that the value prior to the discount was, uh, it was like 736,000. So this is 773,840, right? So how we can arrive to this value you in this table? Well, considering if we don't have some X function, if we have only some function, then what will happen? Well, let me click on new measure and just make sure that you are in the right table i will just delete it for now i want to create it in orders table because that's where i want this new measure and the new measure is here so sales before discount okay let's say we want to use our sum function and not the sum x function just so that you can understand the challenge. Now to do that, we need first sales. So we got order sales, right? And then it just accept one column name. If you see, if you try to apply any expression, multiply with one plus orders discount. If you, let's say forcefully applying it, like I'm doing it over here, closing this, what you will going to see is, is an error, right? The parameter is not of correct type. But if we change it to some X over here, so in some X, what you need to give is basically the table name and the expression. So expression we have already specified. Let's give it a table name. Okay, I'll just click it over here provide the table name which is nothing but the orders expression is already specified and now you see the error is gone right that's the reason we use the sumx function so that we can ex specify a complex expression like this one or any other one which, which you have an interest and get the desired output so let's click it here sales before discount let's select this and click it over here now if you see 775401.68 that's the value i showed you in the calculator what we were getting so now for each category we have the sales before the discount that means when you will apply the discount of five percent on this what you will going to get is this one and we just did the reverse engineering using the sumx function so similar sort of scenario if you need to capture you will have to use the sumx function and that way you will be able to easily uh, get the output. <laughs> All right. So that's about it. And I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.